Hey fam, so this is a supplementary video to the carbon 14, the radiocarbon dating video I did earlier, and it's more for the practical side of being in an archaeology 101 class. So if you're in one of those archaeology 101 classes, there's bound to be a couple questions on that pesky midterm about calculating your own half-life, your own carbon 14 dates. I did it, it was really rough, uh, but it's totally doable. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you a no nonsense technique on how to do it. It all starts with an equation. This equation to be exact. Don't fear the equation. We're gonna break it down. The first t equals time, the date we're gonna end up with. The minus 0.693 is the rate of carbon-14 decay. Don't think too much about this number, just accept it. The ln, of course, is the log function in your calculator, so that's already gonna be done for you, you just gotta hit that button. The n slash n zero thing is the percentage of carbon left in the sample. The top n is always what's left and the bottom n is what was there to begin with. And finally, the t half is the half-life of carbon, which as we know from the previous video is 5,730 years. So for example, say we find a bone that had 23% carbon-14 compared to something living today. The equation might look like this. First you do the log thing, then you do the bracket stuff, then plug all of that into your calculator and you get that. So the sample is then 8,744 years old. Congratulations, you did it! It's excellent work. And just like regular algebra, you can modify the equation based on the information that you're given for the question. But to be honest, I'm not a math teacher, so please find other smarter people to help you with this problem if you still can't quite understand it, okay? If you need to find where to go, there's a write-up on my website filled with tons of useful links to help you out. So that is essentially the basics of calculating half-life or, or carbon-14. You can do it with other half-lives as well. So have a go at that. Uh, let me know how you did in the comments. If you liked the video as well, please hit like if you want to see more of these videos explaining a lot of the Archaeology 101 issues, trials, and tribulations. Hit subscribe down there as well. Also consider becoming a patron on Patreon to help support the YouTube channel so I can continue bringing you awesome content, things like that. And as always, stay dirty, my friends.